This is Sensei Remke with another episode of Ninja Training TV. We're here today with a Shinken blade, a live blade. This type of training is very dangerous, so you want to make sure that you're paying attention and what your surroundings are around you and that you're treating the weapon at all times as though it's very sharp, which this one is. I picked this one up off the internet for around $200. It's a nice cheap weapon and it's easy and very sharp to cut through things. See, did you guys even see that one cut through? It's that fast. It's that quick and easy. <laughs> nah, just joking. I already cut that one, but I thought that would be fun. So we're gonna do the first cut today as a quesagiri. Quesagiri is a diagonal cut. What I wanna do is not treat the sword like an ax where I'm chopping down and using my strength to have that force go through. But with the blade, you're gonna be pulling that cut through and sinking at the same time. And that's what starts to get this cut to happen. Because of the design of how a katana was, there was a slight angle in it. It works so that it gets a touch and then cuts and draws along. And this pulls the cut deeper as it goes along the weapon. This is at a 45 degree angle and I'm gonna sink and draw this cut right through. So I'm coming up and I'm cutting through. You wanna make sure that you get the velocity and that speed coming through that cut so that you start to get your angle at a 45 like this. Some people will cut in and they'll take their angle at a different severe uh, cut and you'll see a little jump in this and that's when you know you're not getting a clean cut coming all the way through. So this quesagiri angle is one of the easiest angles to start with. The next angle you'll try is a dogiri cut where you're coming across in a sideways motion. I like to take a step with each one of these as I'm doing the cuts when I'm coming through and pulling this and sinking at the same time. So a dogiri cut from the side comes right off and you'll have that angle coming back through. So give these a try with your pool noodles and you can pick these up at dollar stores. Sometimes you'll get a bundle of them really cheap and it's nice. So have fun with these different cuts. The quesagiri angle and the dogiri angle are really good. Once you can do both of those, then you can start to try to do multiples. So you'll add a combo together like a 45 coming through with the halfway cut and you can also come up at another uh, gyaku quesagiri angle where you're coming up through. So give these different angles a try. Remember, always keep your body nice and centered, angling, distancing, and timing. Drop into your weight and you'll be able to do these cuts easily. This is Sensei Remke with another episode of Ninja Training TV. Keep training.